Hi everyone, welcome to our next video. In this one, we're going to help you navigate through the middle school science, social studies, and high school course maps. The course map is an important area. It's where you're going to preview activities, find answer keys and reset quizzes, grade any parent graded assignments, find transcripts and guided notes, and print the student reports for any of these subjects. So let's get started. We're just gonna hop right into our parent dashboard. When you log in, you'll go to the Manage Students area. And you'll see the course map option for the courses that your student is assigned. So the first thing we wanna do is preview activities. To do that, just enter the course map. And when you get here, you can kind of get a look. This is exactly what your student will see. That little symbol there just means that this is the next activity or the activity that's in progress. Any check marks indicate completed work. You can scroll through and look. You can also maneuver with the unit titles in the sidebar here. So to preview an activity, you just go right into it. You're gonna see exactly what your student sees. And to get back to the course map, you just click that button. Previewing activities are good for parents who maybe want to pull in additional resources to help with this topic. They just want to get an idea of what their child's going to be seeing, any number of reasons why a parent might want to preview something, and that's how you'll do that. For answer keys, I'm actually going to show you a good answer key in algebra here. So if you want to look at an answer key before your student takes a quiz for the first time, I guess the reason parents would do that. So we, our system will allow students to retake quizzes and tests as many times as they need. Because of that, we don't want students to get the same questions over and over again, or the same questions in the exact same order. So we have a pool of questions that the system pulls from. If you wanna see all of the questions and answers for this entire pool of questions, you're gonna to wanna to go into the answer key prior to your student attempting the quiz for the first time. And when you do that here, you'll see all of these, all of the pools. You can go in and show all, and then you can just scroll through and see what they're gonna be learning. It shows you the correct answer. This is good for those who wanna plan ahead. If you do wanna print them, you can copy and paste this into a doc and print them that way. But if you do wanna see all of the questions and answers prior to your student starting the quiz, make sure that you do that before they enter the quiz on their side for the first time. If you want to view the answer key just for the quiz or test that they completed, that's easy as well. Sometimes this is really important for parents who maybe they don't want to have their student go through an entire quiz again. Maybe they just wanna focus on the questions and answers that the student got wrong. So that's a good way to do that here. So if you go to an a quiz that they've already started, their first or second attempt, you'll see all of the questions and answers that they got right and wrong here. It'll tell you the answer that they got wrong and it'll show you the correct answer. Now, since you're already in this activity, I'll show you the next thing that you can do in the course map, which is reset a quiz or test. So if they do want to redo the whole thing for a better score, it's so easy. Once you're in the quiz, you just come up here to that blue button You'll reset the activity. You can give it any reason that you'd like, and then hit reset. When you go back to the course map, you'll notice that the quiz percentage is now gone. It'll also be gone on your student side. So they can log in and start that quiz over again. The next thing that we wanna show you in the course map is how to grade a parent graded activity. So for this example, I'm gonna go into biology and we're gonna um, look at a lab report for a lab. Now, when there is an activity that's waiting on a parent grade, you can scroll through the list of activities until you find it, or if you know where it is, 
you can just go in that right sidebar. And I know it's the Identifying Nutrients lab. So I'm going to click on that in theory. There you go, sorry about that. Um, and you'll see this yellow or orange waiting for teacher grade. So when you see that, you know that that's waiting on you. You can go in. We're gonna provide a guide for you. You can go through, this is the, the directions for the lab, the checklist that your students needed, the overview and the goals from the lab, so you'll be able to go through there. And you can view all of that material that can help you assign a grade. This is also where you're going to see what your student submitted for you to grade. If you click there, it'll just download. You can open it and review everything. And then you can just assign a score when you're ready to assign an acceptable score to that activity. Ultimately, these are optional, these parent scored activities. You can assign any score that you'd like that you think is acceptable. Maybe they didn't understand the material as well, but they put a lot of effort into it. Or maybe they really understood the material, but they didn't try very hard. Any, any rubric that you use or any measurement as a parent that you would like to use to grade this assignment, you can, and you can assign that score. So when you go back to the course map, and you go to that lab, you're gonna see that score that you assign them and they'll see that as well. Something else that's really cool from this side, your students also have access to it, but it's quick and easy for you. Within each of these unit bars, you can also find the objectives, the standards, and the transcripts for everything in that unit. You'll see the warm up right into instruction, right into summary, and it'll just go all the way through. These are super for students who may need them, you know, they read along as they go. Maybe they use them for notes. However you'd like to use them, they are available student and parent side. I'm also going to show you not all courses have them, but many do, and they're also a good resource. If you go back into this unit bar, some courses have these guided notes. Again, these are optional. These are not integral to successful completion of the online activity. They are just an additional resource for parents and students, but you can print these prior to going into a unit, and your student can fill them out as they go, look for important questions that they wanna answer, just some offline work to accompany that online lesson. So there's that. The last thing that I would like to show you in the course map today are the course report, <clears throat> excuse me, or the student report. So the student report, we actually recommend the custom report for parents. And you're gonna find this in the lesson planning and report section of your parent account. Um, the custom report pulls from all subjects. You don't have to do it subject by subject. It does update overnight. So any work completed today will be visible tomorrow after 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. But we do recommend that custom report. But if your student wants to take a quick glance at what they've been working on, if maybe you don't wanna check, you don't wanna wait until tomorrow morning, you just wanna take a peek when your student is done for the day, you can go into this course report to view real-time activity. This one's not the best example just because we haven't done a lot of activities within this subject, but you'll see the course report for the whole thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Estimated time. This column will be the total time that it took them that they spent within that activity, and you'll see the scores of any that are assigned as well. So that's the course report there. So again, these course maps are so important for the parent. It just gives you so much information and lets you really take care of so many things in one area. So to recap, in the course maps for middle school science and social studies and the high school courses, you're gonna be able to preview activities, 
find answer keys and reset quizzes and activities, grade any parent graded assignments, find transcripts and guided notes, and take a look at those course or student reports. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you do have questions, you can reach out to us. You can message us on Facebook. We do have a Facebook page. It's timeforlearning.com on Facebook. We also have a good group on Facebook, very active, lots of homeschoolers, lots of Time for Learning members. So if you'd like to join that community to ask questions, you can do that as well. Just hop to Facebook and look for Time for Learning Families. And again, hopefully this was helpful. Stay tuned, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks.